We welcome you back. Finding a vaccine is becoming a family affair. Adult children now tasked with the job of helping their parents, even grandparents, navigate the COVID-19 vaccine process. A lot of parents guide their children knowing when they're older, they'll hopefully return the favor. Yeah, hopefully, but uh, <laughs> signing up to get a vaccine is something none of them could have predicted. Megan Schiller explains the challenges families are facing. It's not really a title that you work to earn, but you know when you're it. The person in your family who's good with that computer stuff. But this week especially, it brings some added stress. The race to find an available COVID vaccine is on and may the most tech savvy person win. I haven't taken anything this seriously on online uh, and I can ever remember. I talked with three people taking on the task of registering loved ones for the vaccine. John Van Dyne and Irwin remembers one time he felt a rush like this. PS5, that's pretty much it, yeah. That's... He's now obsessively hitting refresh, all to bring some peace of mind to his 83-year-old grandmother. My grandmother, she has a phone and she has a computer, but she, as you know, they're not tech savvy. Um, so every time there's an update, it's like, hey, can you go on and can you uh, sign me up or can you check this website out? Is this legit? Emily Stock keeps a handwritten list for her grandparents, an immunocompromised mom. We've talked to Giant Eagle, um, our local apothecary here in Pleasant Hills, Jefferson Hospital, Highmark, Rite Aid, um, my grandparents' doctor's office. It's a search with no end date as the vaccine supply in Pennsylvania continues to pale in comparison to demand. Yeah, there's that sense of complete helplessness. Kimmy Priori Young is the youngest of five grown children, now dedicated to finding shots for her shut-in parents. Even after sitting there, I sat for 45 minutes and I only moved up like six numbers in the queue. A frustrating crawl, but a mission she said will be worth it in the end. This week, the state did acknowledge that there is a limited and an unpredictable supply right now of the vaccine, but they are encouraging people to continue to check the state's website with the interactive map to be able to find a vaccine provider near you. Reporting tonight, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.